In this tutorial, I'm using N8N and the Sora 2 Pro Storyboard API to create fully automated video shorts. N8N is a powerful automation platform that connects apps and AI tools, letting you build complex workflows without writing code. Sora 2 Pro Storyboard is an advanced video generation API that turns text and images into cinematic multi-scene sequences with natural motion and visual consistency. By combining them, I'll show you how to generate complete 25-second AI videos, from prompt to storyboard to final rendered short, all fully automated. This automation runs completely on its own. All you have to do is enter a prompt inside Airtable, a short description of the image or idea you want to generate. That's it. The rest of the automation runs by itself. N8 takes N. that prompt and sends it to the Sora 2 Pro Storyboard API, which creates a cinematic video short, scene by scene, with full visual consistency. You can schedule this workflow to run automatically each day, or even multiple times per day. Then, using Blotato, the video is automatically published to your chosen platform, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, or anywhere else. In this tutorial, I'll focus only on Instagram, just to keep my tests private before expanding to all other platforms. And now, let me show you how this automation was created and how the Airtable looks behind the scenes. But before that, I want to invite you to download this exact automation setup. You'll find it inside my school community, where I share all my N8N and AI workflows step by step. Just use the first link in the description to join and get instant access to the Airtable base and the full automation. Now, let's take a look at the Airtable that powers this automation. This table is where everything begins. Each row represents one short video that will be automatically generated and published. Let's go through each column step by step. The first column is called Prompt. This is a long text field. Here, you simply describe the idea of the video you want to create. For example, a vibrant cartoon illustration of a happy dog on the beach. This is the only field you need to fill manually. The rest of the workflow is fully automated. Next, we have status, a single select field. It helps track the progress of each automation. For example, you can set it to to do or done, depending on where that video is in the workflow. The image size column is also a single select field. It lets you choose the resolution of the generated images, depending on how detailed you want your video to be. Image resolution is a single line text field. It's used by N8N when sending requests to the Sora 2 API to make sure the video is generated in the right resolution. Then there's video seconds, a number field. It defines the total duration of the video, for example. 15 or 25 seconds. Video aspect ratio is another single select field where you can choose between portrait, landscape, or square, depending on which platform you're targeting, such as Instagram Reels or TikTok. The each scene. Seconds field is a number field. It defines how long each scene lasts. This helps Sora to build consistent pacing throughout the video. The next column is image. This is an attachment field where you can upload or store reference images that will be used as visual guides for the video style. Then we have video prompts. This is a long text field. Here N8N automatically inserts the structured JSON data that defines each scene's prompt for the Sora 2 API. You don't need to touch this column, it's generated automatically. Finally, the final video column is also an attachment field. After the automation finishes, N8N uploads the final rendered video file here so you can preview or download it directly from Airtable. The full automation, including the N8N workflow and the Airtable base, is available inside my school community. You can download it from the classroom area and import it directly into your own N8N instance. Now, let's go through how this workflow works step by step. The automation starts with a scheduled trigger. This is what makes the entire system run automatically. For example, once per day, or twice per day, depending on how you configure it. Next, there's a step that edits or sets fields. 
And this is also where I've added my key.ai API key. You only need to insert it once. And from that point forward, the workflow will automatically use that value every time it runs. Next, we move to the search records node from Airtable. Here, you'll connect your Airtable base and select the same table where your prompts are stored. In the settings, make sure to use a formula so the node returns only the records with the status of to do. Also, please make sure you return only a single result. This is very important because it ensures the automation process is just a single prompt at a time and posts exactly at the moment you scheduled in the trigger node. After that comes the HTTP request node. Like in many of my other tutorials, I'm using key.ai here. The model used is C Dream Text to Image. Take a look at my settings. This node sends the prompt from Airtable to key.ai, which starts generating the reference image for your video. Next, we have a wait node. At first, I used a one minute delay, but sometimes key.ai servers can be busy. That's why I recommend setting it to three minutes, just to make sure the image generation is complete before moving forward. After that, there's another HTTP request node. This one retrieves the generated image once it's ready. However, key.ai outputs its data in a slightly unusual format, so I've added another edit fields node right after it. This node cleans and structures the image URL, making it ready for the next steps in the automation. Finally, I use an update record node from Airtable to save the generated image back into the same row we started with. This way, you can always see the reference image linked directly inside your Airtable base, perfectly organized and ready for the next stage of the workflow. Now the next node is another set node, also called an edit fields node. Here I calculate the number of scenes by dividing the total video seconds by the seconds assigned to each scene. This value is important because it will be used in the following step, the OpenAI node. In this node, you can choose any model you prefer. I'm currently using OpenAI 5 Mini, but feel free to experiment with different models depending on your needs. At this point, please pause the video for a moment so you can copy my system prompt and user prompt. Of course, you can adapt this prompt to your own niche. That's how you'll get much more accurate and creative results. Once I have the generated text for all the scenes, I move on to another HTTP request node. This one calls the Sora 2 storyboard model. You can see it on the screen, and I've also left a link where you can learn more about it. These are the exact settings I'm using in my workflow. After that, I add another wait node. This one is important because Sora 2 takes some time to generate a full cinematic video. I recommend setting it to around 30 minutes, just to make sure the rendering process finishes properly. Over time, this will probably get faster. But for now, use at least 30 minutes or more. When the video generation is complete, another HTTP request node retrieves the final result. Right after that, I use another set node to clean the URL from key.ai, since their output links usually contain extra parameters that I don't need. This step gives me a clean direct URL that I can use later in the automation. Next, I use another Airtable node to update the record. Here, I insert the link for the final video and change the status from to do to done. Once a row is marked as done, the automation will skip it on future runs. In this same step, I also insert the input data used to generate the video into the video prompts column. That information will be useful for the next stage. Now, I move to another OpenAI message model node. This one takes the text from the video prompts column and generates a caption or a title for the post. Again, feel free to pause the video and copy my prompt, or replace it with your own version if you want to adjust the style for your niche. Finally, we reach the last two nodes, both from Blotato. If you want to support my channel, please consider using my affiliate link in the description. The first node is Upload Media, which uploads the generated video from Airtable to Blotato's server. The second node is Create Post, where we add the text and the media URL, and that's it the video gets published automatically. In this tutorial, I'm using Instagram only because I prefer not to test directly on my real accounts. Now I'll show you two examples of the final results. 
But before that, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. It really helps a lot. And remember, you can use this automation to create all kinds of videos across any niche you want. The ones I'm showing today aren't the most polished examples yet, but with the right prompts, you can achieve far better results from storytelling to product videos or educational clips. This automation is a powerhouse if you understand your niche and how to use it effectively. Now, let me show you the videos. And once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.